Okay, so compare your answers to the ones that are here. Um, and it looks like for monthly, I got a value of $674.43. Weekly, $674.81. And daily, $674.91. And the key thing to take away from these functions is that make sure these zeros are in the right place because that will greatly affect your answer. Remember that zero is talking about that you do not make monthly payments or you know you just invest 500 once and walk away. Um, and then looking at this, it looks, you know, we started with simple interest and we only earned $650. And we really did kept growing, right? But you can see by we got the time by the time we got to daily, we only grew ten cents compared to weekly. So you can kind of see that this doesn't keep growing like exponentially. It kind of just kind of softens out. All right. Um, so compounding continuously, one might think it grows forever and ever and ever, but it actually starts to hit a limit. So what happens here is that limit is actually this value E. So E is a value. It's a number. It's approximately 2.71. It's an irrational number. It's a very cool thing to learn. Um, our class doesn't teach it. Uh, you learn it in Math 111, actually. Um, but, so you're just going to have to accept this. And when we compound continuously, we have to use this formula. So once again, I'm going to give you this formula, just like I give you the simple interest formula, but you have to know how to use it. So when I'm putting this into Google Sheets, I'm going to put an equal sign. My P is my initial deposit, right, my principal. And then we're actually going to put EXP. And what that stands for in Google Sheets, it is has a base of E and raises the aftermath to the exponent. So this will prompt you in Google Sheets with a parenthesis, and then you do your R times your T. So for us, it would be 500, your multiplication. I'm going to put in this function, EXP. It's going to prompt me with a parenthesis. My rate is 0 0.06, and I do this for five years. So let's see what we get. Okay, so equals 500, and then you'll see it here. I'm going to do E, or let me do times actually, times E. And then you'll see my function show up, which is really cool. So I'm going to select EXP and see how it gives me the parentheses. So 0 0.06 times the 5. I'm going to push enter. And let's see what I get. $674.93, if I round correctly. Over here, six hundred seventy-four dollars and ninety-three cents. Wow! Because when I read this and I'm looking where to put my money, and I see daily versus continuously, I would think I would grow a lot more than two cents. Okay. So the key thing is to, when you're looking to invest. Compare how many times it's going to be compounded, and the interest rate is really, really important. Okay, the next video is going to cover some examples.